Today I'm standing with victims and their families in opposition to the British government's continued attempt to legislate for what is now commonly referred to as their Bill of Shame. This legacy bill will shut down families' abilities to have the most basic legal vehicles such as an inquest, such as the ability to take judicial reviews or civil actions, essentially to hold the state to account. And that's what's at the heart of this. The British government fear being held to account through their own courts. And that is why I will continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with victims and their families in opposition to this bill. Nobody on this island supports this legislation, whether it's political parties, lawyers, academics, human rights organisations or the victims and families themselves. There is widespread international opposition to this bill. They see it for what it is. It's unamendable. It runs contrary to international human rights obligations. And it is clear that the only thing, the most honourable thing that the British government can do is to scrap this bill to implement previously agreed political agreements such as the Stormont House Agreement and to stop denying families the ability to get truth and justice for their loved ones.